Hello everyone and welcome. Today we're going to be doing some vehicle maintenance on this Hyundai Tucson. I'm going to show you a very simple and inexpensive DIY method to prevent carbon buildup on your direct injected engines just like the one in this 2016 Tucson. In case you don't know, direct injected engines have a design defect where the valves can develop carbon buildup and slowly cause a lot of problems for your engine's performance. If the buildup gets bad enough, it can eventually ruin your motor. Removing carbon buildup from direct injected engines after the damage is done can be a very expensive repair. The cost of removing the carbon buildup can be around $600 or more because of the large amount of work involved. It can be almost as much as rebuilding the entire motor. So how do you prevent this from happening? Well, I'll show you how to keep your intake valves clean following my easy to do preventative maintenance. So let's get started on taking care of this Tucson. But before we do that, if you want to stay informed on all my car care maintenance tips, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified every time I produce another car care video. Okay, so let's get started. I will also point out that in connection to this DIY that I will show you today, I also have another video that shows you how to make a catch can and it explains in greater detail the reason for doing what we will be doing today. You should watch that video after this one so you can slow down the carbon buildup even further by following what I explain in that video. All right, so let's get started then. So we're looking here at the basic uh, engine compartment of this uh, Tucson, but you know, all engines are going to be similar but slightly different. Anyway, what you want to do is get down to the throttle body on your particular motor. On this one, it's right down here. So we need to open up all this stuff in the way to get to the throttle body itself. Every car is going to be a little different. Every motor is going to be a little different. I need to remove this assembly here and these tubes right here to be able to get directly to the throttle body because you want to get right to it. You don't want to deal with any of this stuff in your way. So I'm going to take all this out of the way. It's very easy just a few nuts and bolts let me get to it Okay, so you basically remove everything to get an opening down to where the throttle body is. I'll move the camera in just a moment. And some things you can just put them aside if you don't want to move all the hoses and stuff like that connected to it. Moving them aside is perfectly fine as long as you have access to the throttle body. Okay, there you see right there, we're looking right at the throttle body for this motor right here. You can see it much more clearly. I moved the camera so you can have a better angle to it. So what we're going to do in this video, this entire process, you do it all at once. What we're going to do is, first of all, clean the throttle body because think of the throttle body as the nose of your motor. And the insides, the intake plenum, all this back here, which you can't see because it's out of the camera, but the intake plenum is basically the lungs of your car. The car has to be able to breathe. And if it can't breathe very well, it stutters and sputters and has all sorts of problems, and you don't want that. Consider it the same as if you have a stuffy nose, you can't breathe very well. If your lungs are choked up with uh, carbon buildup from smoking and so forth, you can't breathe very well. Well, the car works pretty much the same. It is very compatible to the human body if you think of it in those terms. So what we're going to do is we're going to clean the throttle body because it does get build up over time. And since we're going to be shooting carburetor cleaner into there, we may as well just start at the outside and work our way in. And you're going to need a couple different things to do the whole video, the whole project that we're doing today. First of all, you're going to need some carburetor cleaner, a spray can of carburetor cleaner. And it does not matter what brand. Choose your favorite brand. It really does not matter. A can of this is what we will need. Maybe two, depending on how bad your motor is. And you're going to need a toothbrush. Any old toothbrush will do just fine because we're going to use that to clean the throttle body right there. So basically what we're doing is cleaning the throttle body. That's step one. Cleaning the intake leading to the intake valves. That's part number two. Because in the older motors, you whether you had the throttle body injection system or the port injection system, 
gasoline was being injected behind the intake valves and that kept them clean on a regular basis. With the direct injected motors like this one, the gasoline is injected directly into the cylinders, so there's nothing behind the intake valves to clean them. So they get all gunky and junky and messed up and dirty, and that's how you get buildup inside them. And that buildup will get really hard and crusty over time, and it prevents the valves from closing properly. So you start having all sorts of, you know, stumbling and misfires and all sorts of issues. Every motor is going to react differently. Every computer is going to try to compensate in a different way. So you're going to get a lot of different reactions to it. But the end result is still the same. The valves get clogged up. They can't close properly and your motor just won't work very well. So the whole point is to stop that from happening. So since the motor is not shooting gasoline into there to clean itself, we will do it with the carburetor cleaner. And by doing this process once a month, once every couple of months, something like that, you keep your engine nice and clean and it should last you 100, 150, 200,000 miles if you keep up the maintenance. In fact, I would say as an easy way to remember to do this, do this every time you change the oil on your car. That is assuming you obviously change your oil on your car. If you do so, then do this every time you change the oil and you should be able to keep it as maintenance free as possible. So let's get started right now to do this. And one thing I would suggest when you're working on the throttle body, get yourself a simple piece of stick, a piece of wood like this, a stick that you're going to be using because I don't want you sticking your fingers, your digits into the throttle body because that metal clamp right there can close shut for whatever reason and it could hurt you. So what you're going to do is you're going to open it up with the stick. Let me get a light to show you better in there. What you're going to do is you're going to put the stick in there and you're going to hold the throttle body open and this way you can maneuver it so you get it really well opened up. And then you're going to shoot some carburetor cleaner in there. I don't know if you can see very well, but it is kind of dark and messy and gunky around the edges. It always builds up like that. It always will get dirty and gunky and blackish in there. So then you're going to shoot some carburetor cleaner into there. You're going to take your toothbrush. You're going to put it in there and you're going to just scrub it around like you're brushing its teeth. Scrub it around the top, the bottom, all around. And that's how you're going to clean the throttle body. Very, very easy. And you do this before you start the motor because you want to do it. You, you want to keep it nice and cold. You don't want to get your hands all in there while it's hot. So do this before you start your motor. And then later when we go to start the motor, it's going to be a little hard to start. So don't worry about that. What you're going to do to get it started is you're going to put your car into flood mode. In other words, you're going to push the pedal all the way to the floor and you're going to hold it there until the car starts. Then you're going to burn out all that junk, burning it right out of your car. So I'm going to do that right now and I'm going to demonstrate how to do it. My hands may be in the way and it may be hard for you to see some of it, but you have the general idea. Get the toothbrush, move it around in there, and you should be able to do it just fine. And you want to use a piece of wood or something like that so you don't damage the inside of the throttle body. Take your time. Don't try to rush it. It may take you a few minutes. That's all right. You have plenty of time to do it. The cleaner you get it, the better it is.
and then you let it close up like that and we're going to start the car and burn that stuff out to begin with. And in case you don't think the throttle body gets very dirty, as you can see, look at that toothbrush. It was clean when I started it. I'm going to clean it and put it away, but look how dirty it got just cleaning the throttle body. And I have done this before. This is something I do every time I do an oil change. So it does get filthy, really, really, really dirty in there. Just driving the car, just normal driving. Okay, so remember, when you're going to start the car, I'm going to do that right now. Put it into flood mode. In other words, push the gas pedal all the way down, hold it down until the car starts. You'll see it'll be a little difficult to start, but it will start and blow out all that junk we just put into it right now. Okay, as you saw, it was a little difficult to start, but it started out just fine. So just give it a little gas, run it up to three, 4,000 RPM, something like that, get it all burned out, then let it settle down. As soon as the motor settles down properly, then what you're gonna do is you're gonna start it again, and you're gonna put something on the accelerator pedal to hold it down and you want to hold the car continuously at around 3,500, uh, 4,000 RPM somewhere around there. You can either use a brick to hold down the pedal if you're working by yourself, use a 2x4, use a metal pry bar, have somebody hold the pedal down for you. If you, if you have two people and somebody can help you, have someone hold it down for you and tell them to hold it steady at around 3,500, 4,000 RPM. Or if you have, uh, like me, you can always get a pedal depressor, which will help you to hold it down properly. And the pedal depressor is basically just a long rod with, uh, you attach it like this, and I'll show you a better picture. This is not a very good demonstration of it, but it's basically a big rod with, uh, you attach it onto the uh, accelerator pedal from the steering wheel, and it holds it down for you. So... We're going to get the motor set up. I don't know if I'm going to be able to speak over the revving motor. But then what we're going to do is when the motor is revving very high, then all we're going to do is shoot carburetor cleaner into the throttle body right there. The motor is going to want to stumble a little bit and you're going to stop. When it comes back up, you shoot in more. It'll stumble. It comes back and like that. You're going to repeat that process until you use up your entire can of carburetor cleaner. And generally, I only use one can. If yours is really, really bad, you can always use two. I would not suggest going too crazy because you could possibly damage the motor if you use two too much. But one can, I have found to be no problem at all. Does not cause any problem. It has not caused it for me. I've been doing this for quite a while and I've since I've owned this car. Since I knew the problem that it had, I created this system to do it. And you can take it to a mechanic to do this for you. You can take it to a shop and they will do exactly the same process and you'll pay them a good amount of money to do this for you if you don't want to do it. If you doubt this and you think I'm doing something crazy here, a shop will do the same exact thing. The only difference is they take a can, uh, uh, they have a kit that they buy and it basically has a can that they hang from the hood up here and it hangs down with hoses going into the engine and the engine slowly sucks it in, which is the same basic process that I'm doing right here, shooting the carburetor cleaner into there. They have a concentrated cleaner, which is the same, possibly even stronger than carburetor cleaner. And it slowly, as the motor's running, it slowly sucks it in, and that is what cleans the intakes of your car, the intake valves of your car. So you can take it to a shop. If you don't want to do this yourself, take it to a shop. I don't know. It, it might be 150 200 bucks somewhere approximately around there, maybe more. I haven't priced it in my area. You can price it if you want to and comment down below. Let me know how much a shop will charge you to do this exact same thing. But if you're like me and you want to do it yourself, do it cheaply, inexpensively, and easily, then you can do this process and save yourself the time and the trouble of having to go to a shop to have them do it for you. So I'm gonna set up the car right now. I'm gonna set up the uh, pedal depressor to hold it down for me since I'm working by myself. 
and that way it will keep it running for me since this is a run by wire throttle body. In other words, it has no cable to it, so I can't adjust the cable from out here like you could in the old cars. This one is electronic, so you actually have to depress the pedal on the inside to be able to keep it going. Or I guess if you had a fancy scanner, you could always do it on your scanner and tell it to do it that way. So either way, it is possible to do it. There you go you just cleaned out the throttle body and the intake valves on your direct injected engine and if you do this on a routine basis you will basically prevent any buildup on the inside of your intake valves this will keep your engine running longer and as you can see no trouble whatsoever i've done this several times it does not cause any difficulty or trouble for your engine i would suggest take it out for a drive once you're done with this make sure you burn out all that carburetor cleaner from the inside of your motor and you should be perfectly fine all right, so if you enjoyed the video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you get notified of all future DIY projects I produce. I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye for now.